Sheena, thank you. Right now, we have developing news at the Rhode Island State House. In the last hour and five minutes or so, House lawmakers voted on the proposed $9.6 billion budget after hours of debate. Lawmakers say the plan was to wrap up at 10 o'clock tonight, whether they were finished or not, and that's what they did. Iowa News reporter Steph Machado has been at the State House all night, closely following this budget. She joins us now live in Providence with more. Steph. Steve, everyone has now gone home. I'm in the empty House chamber after they passed that budget, as you say, just minutes before 10 o'clock. The vote was 66 to 7. Three Republicans joining the Democrats in approving the $9.6 billion budget. This is, of course, how they fund the government for a year starting July 1st. Now, they revealed just around 9 o'clock the framework for legalized sports betting, which is part of this budget. This was a deal negotiated between lawmakers, the governor, the vendor, IGT, and Twin River casinos, what they decided was that the state would get 51% of the revenue from this new form of gaming. IGT would get 32% and Twin River would get 17% of the revenue. That was just one highlight of many lawmakers in a marathon of votes passed a car tax cut. They passed a hike on medical marijuana dispensaries. They allowed young people in DCYF custody to stay in state care until the age of 21. They approved a settlement with nursing homes, giving them a 2.5% rate increase in exchange for dropping that law so you may remember it made a lot of headlines for that missed appeal deadline. Plus, the $250 million school bond ballot question was approved unanimously. That would go on the ballot for voters this November if it makes it all the way through. Now, let's hear from the House Speaker Nick Mattiello right now on that sports betting deal. I, I think it's a very good deal. It's, you know, we're, we're in sports gaming earlier uh, than a lot of other states. And we have uh, a better percentage for the taxpayers than any state that's doing it right now, which is my understanding. So that's a pretty good starting point. And lawmakers added a surprise amendment to the budget tonight. They added, they increased the tax credit for motion pictures or TV shows filmed in Rhode Island from a 25% to 30%. Now, seven Republicans voted against the bill. The minority leader, Patricia Morgan, says the government is just spending way too much. The budget is expected to go to the Senate next week. Live at the State House, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.